Hello farmers, this is Maurice from Menit Farms Limited. Uh, farmers, today I'm going to talk about pneumonia. This pneumonia is affecting most of our farmers here in Uganda and all over the world. Uh, what is pneumonia, farmers? Pneumonia is the inflammation of the lungs. And what is, what is this inflammation? How is it coming all about? Inflammation, the lungs have got the brochures, what you call the airways, majorly the large ones. When these ones swell or inflame, it, it, it causes a pneumonia. And the inflammation is due to several factors. Uh, there are majorly two agents, the infectious agents, those are the bacterial and the viral infections. Then the non-infectious agents, uh, majorly these ones are attributed to improper administration of uh, liquid drugs, uh, uh, when maybe you are administering uh, milk to the gods and and these drugs, when they move directly to the lungs, they cause that swelling of the brochures and eventually uh, the goat will have uh, pneumonia. And then also under the non uh stress, especially when the goats are overcrowded uh, during transportation, uh, change of environment, uh, sudden change of environment, it will also cause this, this pneumonia, especially during uh, uh, rainy season, cold situations, uh, also during uh, dusty days, especially in the dry season, and also when a goat inhales its hair. So all about, uh, for the non-infectious uh, fact infections that is causing uh, pneumonia, uh, we need proper management. Uh, for the kids, those ones that use bottle feeding uh, of milk, you need to administer with care, such that milk shouldn't escape to the small, the windpipe to the, and directly to the lungs. And also when you are administering drugs. And how do you know that? How can you tell that your gut is having pneumonia? Uh, first of all, when the goat starts to cough, uh, when the goat is coughing, just know that it is having pneumonia. Uh, the nozzle and ocular discharge, ocular discharge, that is the discharge from the eyes. Uh, when a goat, especially the young ones, when they are rapidly breathing, especially like me, I use this machine called a stethoscope to determine the, the heartbeat and to determine the breath of the animals. Uh, so, uh, another issue, they, they diorate. They diorate because these, these, fact, the, these infections affect the, the intestinal, the internal organs and the, the whole process inside. The digestion system is affected and the gods, you'll find that most of the gods have, especially the young ones, the kids, they have uh, dairy and, the, and the, the fecal matter is stuck on the tail and on their outlets, the anus. Uh, then they become weak, they will fail to walk. And farmers now, today, uh, um, to avoid this, to prevent ammonia, you need to understand the factors, especially if the goats are coughing, uh, you need to know whether you dewormed. Because coughing is as a result, sometimes it is as a result of lung worms. When the worms affect the, the, the lungs, uh, the, of course the, there will be inflammation and the end of it, the goat will start coughing and bringing out the discharge. So uh, you need to deworm. Use a broad spectrum of a dewormer. Uh, uh, secondly, 
if it is if that if you know that you didn't do one you do one and if you you see the, the the management around your farm ensure general cleanliness and hygiene avoid the dampness that will cause ammonia uh, another thing avoid overcrowding stock have a nice uh, pen for these goats which are which is well ventilated which is spacious for them to stay in uh, with ease without being overcrowded and then now if the worst comes to the worst and the, the, the cause is due to to bacterial infections uh, we, you, you, you must use a broad spectrum antibiotic majorly that that one that has worked for us, styrosine, uh, pen and strip, and tetracycline, and then the whole story farmers is uh, to avoid pneumonia in our gods from to be out of our gods. Uh, then in summary, it means you need to have proper management. You need to ensure biosecurity to avoid all this. Make sure that you do well. Make sure that you ensure that your goats are in a proper uh, environment that is not dampy. So all this comes to management. I thank you. Dear farmers, thank you for watching. Uh, for more educative videos, don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then come to our other farms here in Uganda. I thank you.